Did I regret buying the Jordan 4 Amomania Fossil Stone Carway? Short answer is no. I would consider this as one of the best Jordan 4s that's been released this year in 2024. And here are my top reasons why I love this pair so much. Number one, they are versatile sneakers. Versatile meaning I don't have issues wearing them with jeans or pants with different cuts. For example, I tried wearing the Amomania 4 with my black corduroy pants and I'm happy on the look that I'm getting with see my baggy and wide fit pants on this pair. I also like how the corduroy matches the black accents of the sneakers such as the midsole including the famous Nike Air logo on the heel support area. The pants are from H&M by the way in case you guys are asking. Next, these are my vintage regular fit jeans. Again, the Amomania 4 is easy to wear with this kind of cut due to its bulkiness. Overall, the shoe itself is beautiful and the colorway is not hard to pair with your existing wardrobe. If you're not a fan of cargo pants, you will not have issues wearing this pair with jeans, but avoid super skinny ones on these sneakers. Another way to rock the fossil stone is by wearing baggy gray corduroy. These pants are the same with the black corduroy in terms of fit and sizing. The inspiration behind the combo are the accents of the sneakers, which are the silky inner lining quiltings and also the Jumpman and Amamanir logo. Actually, this is one of my favorite looks that I get from these gray baggy pants. If you fancy some camo, can't go wrong with this pair too. One thing in common on the pants that I'm using here is that they are all a bit baggy. So I'd recommend the same if you want to rock the Amamania 4. This one I'm rocking here is from Abercrombie in case you guys are interested again. Number two reason, very lace swap friendly. I did tons of lace swap on this pair and it's really up to you guys which one you like the most or which one suits your taste the most but in any order here are my top laces on the fossil stone eggplant waxy laces this came from the latest jordan 3 amamania as extra they are premium looking and i love how it complement the inner linings in the jordan and amamania logo the only comment i have on this lace is that it's too wide for my taste next Burgundy. The inspiration on the swap is the brown red outsole accents. I would classify this as bold color and not for the folks who doesn't like loud colors, but I love the pop and it makes the shoe as the focal point of your outfit. Now for the pastel lovers. These are mint green laces, a really subtle touch but still stylish and the complete opposite of burgundy. Perfect for low-key outfit, not seeking attention so much, but only those who knew the sneakers can appreciate it. Moving into the earthy tones, actually I'm quite surprised again on how versatile the fossil stone in terms of lace swap. These olive laces complement nicely the Amamania 4 and give a natural and cohesive look. If you want to play it safe, black laces would be the key in adding more contrast on this pair. I'm using here thinner round or oval laces instead of the flat ones. I have tried black SB laces but they are so thick and wide and overwhelming for my taste. And of course, can't go wrong with the sale extra laces but honestly, it's getting overdone already but there's a reason why sale became so famous as it blends naturally with any kind of color combo, especially with earthy color palettes. As a bonus for you guys, I made a lot of b-roll using my tapered slim cargos and the goal for this is that to give you more ideas and inspiration on how to rock your Jordan 4 Amamania Fossil Stone colorway. What you're seeing now is a tapered light khaki cargo, the color combo of Fossil Stone against the khaki is perfection. If 
you love dark green camo this one's for you the cut is a slim tapered but not super skinny and it's more into earthy kind of vibe if you will but if you're just playing safe and don't want to be loud can't go wrong as well with gray cargo pants these are again from H&M Nylon Ripstop Cargo Collection in case you guys want to ask. That was the versatility and lace swap aspects for my third reason, it's the build and the materials. Believe me or not, I have seen a lot of you know, worse Jordan Force, for example, the military blue. But for this, I could really safely say that at least my pair is clean and the materials are top notch. Also, you will notice straight away that these feel more firm on feet due to the polyurethane insoles instead of the usual dream cell. It's a good thing, by the way, that they have used the same insoles in Jordan 3 and 4 while you were sleeping pack. About the materials, they are utilizing soft Lubac suede leather similar to the Jordan 5 Amal Mania. My only concern with this leather is that it creases so fast due to its smooth surface nature. When clean, it's really stunning but imperfections like stains will be clearly visible and less forgiving versus the soft tumbled textured leather. Plus, you're getting, by the way, two extra pair of laces on this pair, which is good, but you know what? This is still an expensive shoe, to tell you the truth. Okay, now let's talk about sizing and comfort. I will talk a little bit on the comfort side because a lot of people are asking if they are comfortable sneakers. Well, in my honest opinion, they are uncomfortable sneakers. They are heavy, especially if you want to compare them to those running shoe brands. To me, I have accepted already the fact that if I am buying Jordan sneakers, I bought it for aesthetics versus the comfort aspect. So if you want to use this for extended period of walking or standing, then I think you're buying the wrong sneakers. I would say you should check those running shoe brands like New Balance or Asics because they are built for those kind of purposes. So in short, these are uncomfortable, they are heavy, but I like them because they are gorgeous sneakers. However, in terms of sizing, they are a tad smaller versus the normal GR Jordan 4s in my experience. And since I have narrow feet, it's not really a big deal to me. But if you have a massive feet, I think it's safe to half size up on this pair. 